Hey guys, this is Andrew with RockClass101.com. Today we're going to be learning the theme for Game of Thrones, and this has probably been one of the most popular requests that I've been receiving, and it's probably just because it's such a, a love show and such a hugely watched TV show. Um, I actually think the theme is quite a lot of fun, and it adapted pretty well to the uke. It's just such a interesting sounding song. It's so catchy with the ba da 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 da, and that theme that builds throughout it. Um, it just was a lot of fun to put on uke. So this is going to be part one of the lesson, and in part one we're going to be learning the complete intro and the verse. If you guys want to learn the rest of the tune, you can do so in part two of the lesson at Rock Class 101. So the second part of the video lesson will cover uh, the verse variation, it's going to cover the chorus, the chorus variation, and the outro, so the complete rest of the tune. Plus you can also get the complete tabs to print off as a PDF format and get access to that on-screen tab viewer, uh, which literally you can hit play with this performance, slow it down to whatever speed you want, and you watch the tab scroll across in real time. Just a great asset in learning this song that much quicker. So all of that's at rockclass101.com. So let's go ahead and kick into this lesson. So we're going to kick off with the intro, and our intro sounds like this. Okay, you can notice that it's looping the same thing four times in a row, and then it does another variation on that four times in a row. So it's not very, very hard um, what we're actually playing. It does involve a hammer-on technique, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, basically, for the first set of four, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play completely with my thumb on my right hand. And I'm going to hit string four, open, and then string three, open. And then we have our hammer on, so it's going to be our first finger on the third fret of the third string. And we're going to play that note again with our thumb, and hammer on the five on string three. So a hammer on is basically you pick the note once, and then you use that finger to hammer on with enough force to create the volume on its own without using another pick. Right, so I pick once and I hammer on. So if you haven't done hammer ons before, just give it a shot and just practice that. The goal of a hammer on is to create the same volume between this note and the one that you hammer on but what it does is it cuts back on the work for the right hand plus it gives it a more uh, interesting sound to switch it up so again we have open four open three and then three to five on string three pick one time so it sounds like that again we have one two three and one two three and one two so that's our rhythm that we're going to be playing. You can th also think of it as da 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 ba 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 ba. Really, really simple and catchy rhythm. So looping that again four times without me calling it. Okay. Now the next set of four is basically like a variation on this. We're going to do the same beginning. Open four open three, but this time around we're going to hit the second string open and hammer on to the first fret of string two. So zero to one on string two. And for my right hand I'm going to go thumb, thumb, and then second finger to pluck string two. Right, so same rhythm. See, when I hammer on, I'm just going to leave that finger down so that it just sustains into those opens that follow it, right? It just gives it a nice sustaining sound. So you have four of those in a row. So now we know the whole intro. So if I play the intro all the way throughout, it sounds like this. That's what we get for the first part of this arrangement. So now we're going to move into the verse. So we're going to play a few of these bars at a time and then break it down. So here's what the first part of the verse sounds like. Okay, so our first chord is going to be a C5. To do this, we're going to take our pinky, put it on the 10th fret of string 1, and then your middle finger on 8 on string 2. 
The other strings above it are going to be open, so open three, open four. I'm just going to go ahead and strum this first chord, and then I'm going to pick out of it. I'm going to hit string four and then string two. Remember, keep those two fingers planted for right now. So we're going to go strum, four, two, right? And these are all quarter notes. They're even. One, two, three, okay? After that, bar two for the verse, I'm going to go... So I'm going to strum three and two together, or you could pluck them if you want, it doesn't matter. Hit both of those together, string three and two, and then hit string four, and then string two again. So I have three and two together, string four, string two. All quarter notes, all the same length of time. One, two, three. So if I put bar one and two together, I have strum, four, two, strum, four, two, right? All even quarter notes again. Okay, and if I call the rhythm, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, the next two bars are going to sound like this. Okay, so you can see that I'm still out of that C5 chord shape, but we've got a, quite a bit more going on uh, with our third finger being added to the mix now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our index finger and we're going to put it on the 6th fret of string 1, right? So what I'm going to do for the first one is I'm going to lift my pinky up from that C5, right? We had C5, which was 2nd finger and 4th finger. Lift that pinky up. We don't need it for right now. Put the index finger on 6 on string 1. Keep the middle on 8 on 2. So we're going to pluck string 3 open and hit string 1, which is the 6th fret together. Then we're going to take that ring and we're going to hammer on to 8 on string 1. So you pluck 3 and 1 together and then hammer on. Pluck, hammer on, pluck, hammer on. After that, your pinky's going to go to 10 on string 1. Play that and then hit the open 4. So again, we have 3 and 1. Hammer on to 8 with the ring. Go back to 10 on 1 with the pinky and then play open 4. So our rhythm is one and two, three. So you have a eighth note followed by two quarters. Da 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 da. Right? One and two, three. So get that stuck in your head. Okay? The next bar, bar four for the verse, is gonna go. So it's like a variation. So we're going to again strum three and two only. Open four after that and then hammer on six to eight. So you've noticed that that middle finger stays anchored for bar three and four of the verse the entire time, doesn't go anywhere. Again, bar four, strum three and two, open four, and then six to eight on string one. Same hammer on we did before. So if we put bars three and four together for the verse we have. Okay, now if we put bars one through four together for the verse we have. Okay, so that's basically what our first four bars for the verse sound like. Let's go ahead and look at the next set of four, and it's going to be all out of a G minor. So a lot of these bars actually are the same, so it's going to make this next section quite um, easy to learn because it repeats. So here's what the next uh, four sound like. We're going to loop all of these together this time around. Okay. So our chord shape is an E minor, right? Just that staircase, that stock staircase E minor we make. We're gonna move it up the neck. So you're gonna take that ring, put it on seven on string three, your middle finger on six on string two, and your index finger on five on string one. String four is gonna be played open. So the first hit is just gonna be strumming all four, and then hitting open four, and then we're gonna go six to eight on string two. So that middle finger is going to hammer on with the pinky, 6 to 8 on string 2. Our rhythm is 1, 2, 3, end. So we have quarter, quarter, eighth note. So again, strum, 4, 6, 8 on string 2, hammer on. Okay? Now, here's where the section repeats. These next two bars are going to double. So the second uh, bar for G minor, you're going to be playing string three and one together 
and then open four, and then again the same hammer on six to eight. So we have three and one, open four, and then six, eight. So same rhythm, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and. If I play without calling, Okay, so the first three bars put together, I have strum, four, hammer, cluck, four, hammer, cluck, four, hammer, and without calling. Okay, the last bar for this G minor is going to go strum, four, and add your pinky to eight on string two. Again, it's strum, four, eight on two, and those are all quarter notes. One, two, three, okay? So this uh, G minor section again, put together. That's what we get. All right, let's move on to the second half for this verse. Okay, so our next four bars go into a B flat chord. So let's learn that shape real quick and then I'll play it throughout and we can see how these four bars are based out of that chord shape. So the chord shape looks like this. And basically, we're just gonna put our first finger on five on string three, our middle finger on six on string two, and our pinky on eight on string three. Okay, and we're ignoring string four, so only strum three down. So, here's what that section sounds like. So like I said, most of this is just staying straight out of that B flat five chord, and then we're moving a couple fingers to do that little pull off lick that happens. So basically we're just arpeggiating out of the chord. So the first one is gonna start with a strum and then playing three and two. And these are all quarters, one, two, three, right? So all even notes. Okay, the second bar is gonna go strum three and two, kind of like we did before, right? And then again, three, two. So the first one we have strum three to one, three, two. The second one, strum three to two, three, two. Okay, put together. Slow it down. Okay, the next bar, here's where it gets a little tricky. It's gonna do a quick little pull off and then stretch to pinky and then play the octave of that. So what happens is that I'm gonna lift my pinky up from that B flat five, I'm gonna drop my middle finger to six on string one, but my index is gonna bar. So you're gonna bar five down, only strings one, two, and three, right? Remember, we're ignoring string four for this whole section. So I'm barring five down and I'm pulling six to five off. So it'd be a pull off right there, right? And a pull off is the opposite of a hammer on. So a hammer on was, hammer on, right? A pull off is the opposite, pulling up, right? But it's not directly up. When you pull off, you wanna tug down a little bit on it, right? And the same goal applies. We want both notes to be the same volume, okay? So I pull off and then reach with my pinky to eight on string one and then play string three, which remember is barred, so it's the fifth fret. Okay, our rhythm is one and two, three. So we have eighth notes, one and quarter, quarter, right? One and two, three. So if I play it again, it sounds like this. Okay, slow. Pull off eight, five. Okay, here's what the first three bars sound like together. Okay, so the fourth bar to finish this section will sound like this. So basically it's just hitting string two and then playing string three and two together and then string three, right? So we have two, three and two together and then three. And these are all quarter notes. One, two, three, right? So same rhythm for this, or same duration of note for this section. So that completes those four bars, guys. All together we sound like this. Now the next part, these next four bars are gonna start one quick hit with that six to five before it goes to this F minor chord. Right, for that last section. So you're gonna do a quick six to five again, 
right? Same finger, so you gotta bar that, six to five, two pulls off to the index barred, and then you're gonna move this bar down to the third fret, but what happens in this last section is that instead of covering from three down, you're gonna cover from two down. And with two down covered, we're gonna play string three and string one together. So three is open now. And then it's gonna do four to six on string two. Right, so it's a hammer on. I use my middle and pinky, just like that. So I pluck four to six. So that first bar for the last four for F minor is gonna go Okay, so again, our rhythm is one and two, three and, right? So we have one and two, three and, one and two, three and, right? So a little tricky. Now the next two bars are identical. They sound like this. Okay, so we're gonna pluck three and one. Three again is open. One is barred on strings one and two on the third fret. Open four after that, and then again, four to six, middle and pinky. And we have that same rhythm as throughout this arrangement. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and. Now the last bar is gonna sound like this. All quarter notes, so plucking three and one, open four, and string one. One, two, three. So again, three and one, open four, and then the third fret of string one. So that gives us the complete verse, guys. So let's go ahead and just play those last four bars, and uh, we're after that, we're gonna put all the verse together. Okay, so let's go ahead and play that verse all the way throughout now. So here we go. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Again, if you want to learn the rest of this tune, you can do so at rockclass101.com. There you'll be able to get the uh, complete tabs to print off as a PDF format, plus you can get access to that on-screen tab viewer, which literally lets you hit play with this performance video, watch the tab scroll across in real time, highlight bars to loop them, slow it down to whatever speed. Uh, it's just a really cool asset. Plus, of course, the second part of the video lesson, which covers the rest of this tune. So all of that is available at rockclass101.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in our next lesson.